Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen of the interweb? My name is, of course, Catman Joe, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a custom scoreboard easily in your Minecraft worlds. Now, this tutorial will work guaranteed for all the different bedrock editions of Minecraft. That includes PlayStation 4 Edition, Pocket Edition, Xbox One Edition, Windows 10 Edition, and finally Nintendo Switch Edition. As always, if you feel like I'm going a little bit too fast for you, all the commands will be typed down below in the description, and please feel more than welcome to ask for any help or any questions if needed, or suggest some future commands I should cover in some videos, and I'll do my very best to respond as quick as I possibly can. Thank you and let's get right into the tutorial. I've recorded this part of the video 13 times and I either keep messing myself up, stuttering, mentioning Al-Qaeda or getting interrupted by phone calls so from now on out everything you hear is going to be entirely scripted. So I'm going to be showing you how to do three different but all related and useful commands. Number one is how to add your scoreboard. This is prep work for the heist so to speak and must be done first before anything else. Placing down a command block in the command input area type forward slash scoreboard space objectives space add space then your scoreboard name then space dummy. Now for example I use cat coin but obviously you can use whatever you wish and of course you can change the color by entering an ampersand and a certain number. So once again as an FYI the name can be literally anything by the way. So for for example, as I'm sure you can see, I use the name CatCoin as I don't use my scoreboard like your average beta male. I use mine as a currency counter so I can make my own economy like a true virgin. Moving on, now that we've added our scoreboard, it's time to make it appear. And no one like your dad who went out for milk three years ago and never came back, this will actually appear. What you're going to want to do is in another command block, once you've placed it down, is go back into the command input area and add the following command. Forward slash scoreboard space objectives space set display space sidebar and then space your obviously scoreboard scoreboard name. Also the scoreboard name you use or enter here must be the same as the scoreboard name you entered in the first command block or else this will not work. Once you've done that and activated both command blocks you should see your currency appear on the middle right hand side of the screen. In the next couple of episodes of this series I'll show you how to add points to your scoreboard, how to sell items for points and more so stay tuned for that also. Finally though in case you get sick and tired of the scoreboard being on your screen or have the painstaking realization that this is not real and will not help you pay off your student loans with Minecraft money, this is how to delete the scoreboard. First of all, go back into the command input area or input area, excuse me, on another command block and enter this exact command. Forward slash scoreboard space objectives space remove, then your currency name. Again, the currency name must be the exact same as the previous two that you've entered before or else this will not work. Once activated, it'll delete the scoreboard entirely, so be careful before using it. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did go to enjoy it and it did help you out, please be sure to share it with your friends and family. Drop it a like and leave a confusing and sus comment saying, wow, that's a cute bofa and also be sure to subscribe to help me not only reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers but also finally hopefully earn and impress my dad and his whole love and respect thank you and god bless